Well, good morning and welcome back to the study. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the top four mistakes that new cigar enthusiasts make in an effort to help you avoid these pitfalls. So, what are we gonna look at? We're gonna look at the cut. We're gonna look at whether you should or should not inhale. We're gonna look at how you should store your cigars and how you should light your cigars. So getting right into it, the cut. Quite often you see in Hollywood, somebody will go like this and they'll come and take a big giant cut like that. Well, of course, that's leading people very far astray. You paid for that inch of cigar. Why would you not want to keep it? It's very, very important that this end of the cigar is preserved as much as possible. This is the interface between your mouth and the cigar. The enjoyment of the cigar it all hinges on how this cut is performed. There's a variety of different ways to do the cut. You can do it with a guillotine cutter, a bullet cutter, a V cutter, uh, cigar scissors or even a cigar knife. The scissors and the knife are a bit more of an advanced skill. Probably wouldn't recommend that for somebody that's a new enthusiast. But the guillotine, the bullet, and the V-cut are all fairly, fairly simple and hard to, hard to screw up. The only thing you can really do is cut too much with, with a guillotine cutter. But anyways, if you look at the cigar, you can see there's those rings on the very top there. This is called the cap. So the very first one you see is about, you know, an eighth to a quarter, well, about an eighth of an inch from the very, very tip there. That's where you would want to cut. You would just cut right there. Just the tip, as they say in civilized circles. Now, the reason for this is there's a small ring of tobacco leaf that's placed here just to protect the end of the cigar. Now, it also keeps the wrapper in place. So if you cut beyond the cap, what can happen is your wrapper can start to unfold your draw will be off, and it's just not going to be a very enjoyable cigar. You'll find yourself chewing on the cigar. You can turn, like You're going to have little bits of tobacco in your teeth. Not going to be a good time. Inhaling the cigar. Now, take a big puff of smoke. You breathe that in. What's that? It's going to go right down into your belly. You're, going to, you're either going to have a coughing fit or you're going to turn green, right? So when you, when you take in a puff of smoke, you're supposed to hold it in your mouth savor it for a moment and then release it. If you bring it in, like I say, you'll, you'll, you'll most likely make yourself sick and you won't really have an enjoyable time. Now, in terms of whether or not the cigar makes you nauseous, it is important to note that it's worthwhile having a hearty meal before you enjoy uh, a larger gauge cigar especially. On to storage. So how to store these things you buy these, I know this cigar here was about $35 Canadian, so La Gloria Cubana. I get it from the tobacconist in a Ziploc bag, just like this one here. I want to take it out of the Ziploc bag. I don't want to place it in my humidor. Now, certain climates, a humidor is maybe not, maybe not the best. We live in northern Alberta and Canada, so we can get some very dry climates. So if the humidor doesn't seal very well, you may want to look at something like a Tupper door where it's more confined and you use things like uh, Bovita packs, things like that to help control your humidity. But if you live in a high humidity climate, it's kind of the opposite, right? You can deal with things like what they call plume. It's really, it's just mold, right? Not good at all. So make sure your cigars are maintained at a relatively uh, consistent humidity, 65 to 70%. You want to keep them in a cool, dark place, just like many other things that you try to store for, a, for an extended period of time. Cool, dark place, you can't go wrong. Regulate the humidity and you'll be good. If it's too dry, it's going to smoke like wildfire. If it's too wet, it's going to, it's going to be really difficult to keep it lit. And if you're keeping it for any length of time and it's too dry, you're going to lose a lot of the uh, bouquet, the, uh, the flavor within the cigar, if it's too moist, like I said, you're gonna end up dealing with mold and just spoiling the cigar as well as any, anything else you've got in that container. Now, finally, lighting the cigar. Oftentimes I see new people uh, getting into cigars with a Zippo and you know, all, albeit it's free choice, you can, you can make, you're free to make your own choices. I would recommend the use of a torch lighter. I've got one like that, or I've also got a table lighter here. These work really, really well. However, when you light the cigar, you don't want to come right in, right up and, and, and you know, barbecue the end of your cigar. That's not very effective, right? So keep a good distance away. You just want the tip of the flame about, you know, an inch and a half away, and you just toast the end of the cigar until it's lit. We're gonna maybe make, make a future video specifically just on lighting cigars. Maybe you don't want to barbecue it, 
You don't want to use a Zippo because of course it's a petroleum based fuel and all of those uh, volatile odors and flavors get pulled up and into the cigar and then the cigar can be quite acrid and it's just yeah it's, it's just not enjoyable the other thing you can light with is a cedar slip so if you've bought a box cigar box of cigars or maybe you've got a tube cigar sometimes they'll have a cedar slip inside and you can just break a piece off light it with your if you really want to use a zippo light it with your zippo lighter and then and then use the slip to light your cigar alternately you can use cigar matches cigar matches are longer so they allow you to Take the time you need to properly heat the cigar before you, so that again, you don't toast the end. Anyways, those were four commonly made mistakes for new cigar enthusiasts. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, go down below, hit like, hit share, drop us a comment in the comment section, and we'll see you next time.